we find ourselves on this 7th of May at the shipyard Droge Water on the Nieuwemeer in Amsterdam. We're here with the Ned Craft, soon to be Anne Bonny, and we're a couple of hours off from our first little shakedown run. Decking, polishing work has all been redone, and of course, New Electric has put in a new electric drivetrain. There's Beden from Droge Water helping us finish up the boat. And I believe if we take a look inside, we will find Raymond. Hard at work. Hello there. <laughs> so what do you think, Raymond? We have a power boat here? Yeah, it's all in. It's all there. So are we missing anything? Some water. What's your yeah, <laughs> that's your famous quote. <laughs> I knew you had to think about it for a second there. <laughs> So let's take you through a quick tour of the boat here. Oops, let's grab on in. Oh, we're in the tie wrapping and finishing up phase here. To the rear, we have a total of 30 cells for 100 volts and our charger and some of our 12 volt systems. And here's the new cabin area. Got a little JLD 404 sticking out there. Needs to find a little home. And here we have our 12 volt pump for outside water and our Hearth 25A gear coupling, a uh, marine reverse system to transfer power. It's a 1 to 155 ratio. So 155 on the motor is one rotation for the prop. So we're going to limit the motor to about 4,500, 4,700 RPMs and keep, uh, keep our prop at a max of 3,000 RPMs for which all the down, down prop systems are, are rated. Over here in the engine bay where formerly lived a Volvo Penta D3 130 horsepower diesel. I was finishing here. <laughs> and of late, Ray has been living here <laughs> with his hands deep into the high volt units. We have our remaining two story packs of 100 volts on each side of the motor. We have our 11 inch DC motor and our Soliton 1 300 kilowatt controller hooked up to water cooling system that has its own little radiator sticking down in there. We'll get some more light on it. Uh, we've got two high volt main boxes. Here we got our shunts and our last contactors and our fuses. And then on the other side we have our main contactor box which makes 300 volts out of the discrete 50 volt units. So we'll need about another hour or so to get things cleaned up a little bit for our shakedown test run where we uh, pump through a little bit of high voltage to the motor and prop and see if anything melts, if we have any loose connections. Um, but we're feeling pretty good about ourselves today. As you can see, there's a beautiful new shine on the deck. It's beautiful new flooring. We'll need some cleaning up. Add in a chair. We'll get out of here. But in total, we can see that this is going to be one hell of a boat. Can't wait to get outside in the water. <laughs> Moving under her own power. The Netcraft making its first meters backwards. Nothing more renewable than muscle power. <laughs> Solitons ready to go. Liquid cooling, running at place. Motors ready to rock and roll. A little laptop, do some control programming on the fly.
Wel heel even nog het systeem uit. First water, she'll see electric. Here at the Nieuwe Meer, the new lake in Amsterdam. And to tell you the truth, when we go in the water, we really gotta just check out. Ik hoor blub blub blub. Gaat het goed, Anna? Een beetje water, een beetje water. Ben jij niet zo kunnen wonen? Ja. Uitlaten zijn boven water, uitlaatstukken. Zo ziet het er alleen chic uit. Hij ligt toch goed op zijn waterlijn zo? Wijn hetzelfde. Droog, Anne? Achter was heel even een spiekje water. Ik moest even binnen draaien. Voor rook. Het komt allemaal het, los onder uh, vandaan. Hier bak dicht. Dat lukt niks. Nee. Nou, is het nog te... Ik ga even de gaten uitrollen. Uitrollen. Hekkelig. Wat? Hekkelig. 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 Ik heb het gevaat waar ze thuis zijn. Dus. Nou, we aan. Je waterpompje loopt weer, en dat is goed. Even kijken of er ook echt opbrengst uitkomt. En goed strak, ijsbro, als jij het goed strak doet. God, er zit ook nog een wc in die boot. Je doet dat ook. Hier is nog droog. We are actually. That's yesterday's generation talking to us. Here's the future, baby. That looks uh, I like it. There's no bubble there. Yep. Look at us go, man. No? Look at us go. I don't know if in the Python or something. Or Yeah. Check out our logger program. This is uh, 750 RPM, 70 ampere. Tour is it? This is stationary in the diesel. And this is all hard in the kracht, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit too slow, yeah. This is a maximum, but not this opaque. No, no, no. Nou, ook eens oppak ik. Laat hem uh, niet te veel uh, amperes maken. Nou, amperes is koppel. Maar dit is nog vrij veel hoor. Dit is al meer dan die diesel had uh, onderin. Staat hij op uh, performance of wat? Nou heb ik je gelimiteerd. Je zit op je toerenlimit nu. Oké. Okay. Dit is nog gelimiteerd. 
40, 90 kilowatt, hè? So there she lies. Franz, your uh, net craft is in good hands. There's some uh, finishing work to be done. But uh, shakedown test has uh, proven the motor and the batteries, the controller. We've got all the log files. We'll check them out in the office. Um, sweet spot seems to be at about 90, 95 kilowatts, which is uh, very much like the original diesel engine. Above that, she gets a little bit shaky. Uh, propeller got some cavitation. Can't get quite enough power to the water. Um, doesn't she look sweet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in our yeah, shakedown run, we use about um, five amp hours out of our batteries. It's about one eighteenth of the total capacity. So uh, not nothing, but you know, it shows that she's actually quite efficient. Um, we're of course going to have to do an enduro test and see how long she'll last in the canals. Um, but I think she's really, really rather efficient at low speeds. So it should be great. Well, she needs to go back inside. There's a lot of finishing touches to be done. Get everything back on there. But uh, from New Electric, we know that uh, we made one uh, kick-ass system. So let's finish her up and give her to the customer. Happy day for new electric.